This apartment is too nice and looks way too expensive. A month in rent for it to have roaches. Hey you guys, what's up? So we are back with another vlog and in today's vlog we are starting off with a sponsorship from You Nice Hair Company. I will have everything linked in the description box below. So I am reviewing their Body Wave hair today and this is how it comes packaged. So once you open your package, you're going to see a, quite a few gifts. You get some lashes, you get a satin hair wrap, and then you also get a wig cap with a couple of nail stickers, which was really cute. And then the wig comes individually packaged. Um, I got the Body Wave texture in 28 inches, so it's really, really long. And this is a 5x5 lace closure, and the lace is transparent. So as you can see, it comes with three clips, two on the side and one in the back. Then I go in and I started to bleach these knots because they do not come pre-bleached. I'm an over bleacher. I like to over bleach the knots and let the bleach bleed through. I think it's better to over bleach than not bleach at all. Men can totally tell the difference. You do not want it to look like ants crawling on a log like concealer would not do it. Bleach your knots, sis. Stop being lazy. Bleach your knots, okay? Then after I let the hair air dry overnight, because I do feel like air drying it prolongs the hair. When you blow dry, you're just adding too much heat and it, it wears down the hair a little bit more and it starts to mat up and it loses its soft texture as well. So after I let it air dry, I go in and I started chopping up the hair. Like I'm putting layers all over this baby because I'm going to put waves in it. So I want the waves to fall and look really natural once they start falling. Um, and it just to give a nice beachy wave look to it. So first you're going to see a very crimpy, you know, put together crimped style, but as they start to fall, it just gives gives a really nice beachy just got out of the sun type of vibe and it's just beautiful so I'm going in with these crimpers that I bought off Amazon I will link them below because a lot of you guys have been asking where I got these I got them off Amazon since they were only like $30 and they are heavenly so I go in and I put crimps in it all over and this is the finished look so if you guys are interested in getting this wig, I will have coupons in the links below. Please definitely click the links below. It'll take you straight to the hair. And I got mine in the 28 inches. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, y'all. So I'm getting ready to meet April for dinner at Drake's. I was having a hard time finding something to wear and then I realized I got a whole bunch of cute outfits from Makeup Unity so I put on this pinstripe jumpsuit and it is definitely giving what it needs to give but um as far as like makeup I'm not putting on any makeup tonight I just one I don't even really feel like in the spirit to go out i'm just oh child i don't know if it's the full moon yesterday it just really drained me and took all of my good energy i don't know if it was because i saged i don't know honey but i do know that i do know that i i need somebody to help me with oh I don't want to rip this. Ooh. It's a struggle. Fuck. I'm getting hot trying to zip this up. Decide whether or not I want to put lashes on. I 
This jumpsuit is so long. Like, honestly, I think I'm going to have to put my stripper shoes on with it. I ain't no stripper, but I do get some. I do get some shoes. Because these pants are extremely long. I just feel like you should wait a little bit before you show your crazy pants. <laughs> you keep saying that. I do. Because, I mean, that's facts. Like, I mean, every, we are. Like, I mean, if you're a smart woman, you're going to be crazy to a certain extent. Like, I mean, that's what's bad. But you got to get the nigga in first <laughs> before you show them. Siage discovery sets. I got the Whispers of Garden discovery sets, and then I also got the whole Signature House discovery sets. So today I put on Whisper of Truth. Oh my lord! Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I bullshit you not, <laughs> and and this is gonna make me sound crazy because I literally have already. I already have Baccarat and then I have an a dupe for Baccarat. This smells just like Baccarat. Just like Baccarat. Like literally. Just like Baccarat, but something in it makes it so much more stronger. And oh my god, I gotta get it. As soon as I get to the restaurant, I'm buying it. I'm about to sit at the table and buy it and order it. I gotta get it. I got to have it because it's something different in it. It smells exactly like Baccarat, but it's something in it that's giving it like this spicy, not spicy. Yeah, spicy, spellbinding moment. No, like it's like fuck. Like I feel like if uh, if a dude had this on and walked past me. I, I I would definitely walk up to him and tell him he smelled good. I don't know if I shoot my shot, <laughs> but I would definitely walk up to him and tell him this. And um, you should have had your fucking blinkers on, you dumbass. Um, I would totally walk up to a dude if he had this on, cause this is unisex. I don't know if you know a dude would be comfortable having a cupcake. A, a, a bottle uh, of perfume a cupcake shaped bottle of perfume in his house but this is this is definitely unisex and honestly to me this smells better than Baccarat I love Baccarat but this smells better than Baccarat I tell, I'm telling you when I get to the restaurant I'm buying it I'm ordering it as soon as I sit down at the restaurant it smells so freaking good like oh girl you gotta get it whispers of truth I can't wait to see what the bottle look like. I can't wait to see what the bottle look like, honey, because I love all of their bottles. And I'm in love with Love is in the Air, but I have yet to wear it because I've been wearing all of the samples, just, you know, testing them out to see which one I want to buy because I want to buy me another bottle for my birthday. This the one. This the one, sis. This the one. I'm excited. Because y'all know how I am about perfume. Like, literally, I was... 
do y'all not realize how I was just in a bad mood? I literally was just in a bad mood. I ain't in a bad mood no more. Perfume, I'm telling you, perfume is everything. It's a mood elevator. Like, bitch, I feel good. I feel good. I smell good. <laughs> I got money. I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck whatever was bothering me. He had a gender reveal. That's he rushed off because I was like, "Oh, well, I can meet you up there." He was like, "By the time you get up there, I'm not gonna be, be. I'm gonna have to leave." And I was like, "You got, like, you got a full day." And he was like, "Yeah, I got a couple things to do." He had a gender reveal. That's what he had. To do. <laughs> but I said, and people wonder why I'm single. Cause y'all niggas make dating so like. Oh my God, Jessica! Like I was literally just <laughs> saying that. Cause I, so, girl, I be having to talk to myself in the shower sometimes. Child. I have girl, to be my, I, I have to be my day. own therapist. I'm charging myself five hundred dollars an hour. Um, girl, the way I be shopping. But um, I was, I was cause he gonna say when we was on the phone arguing he was like you acting like you ain't talking to other niggas i said first of all sir do you not understand how broke niggas are inconsistent niggas are niggas have niggas niggas have lack of communication niggas just be wanting to have sex with you just be wanting to use you finesse you have multiple females that they entertain Women do not have the same amount of options like men have. Yes, it. Yes, I could be talking to other niggas, but I ain't, if I'm talking to five other niggas, how many of them five you think want to be in a relationship and marry me? Now, let's talk about the five women that you could be entertaining and talk to. All five of them want a relationship with you. All five of them want to be married to you because women naturally want to be in relationships. Men don't look at girls and be like, man, I, that's, that's my girlfriend right there. That's it. I'm, that's it. I'm out. I'm out with this work. Them, I'm out. Niggas don't out. look. Niggas don't think like that. You talk to five females and you probably smashing at least four of them. We talk to five niggas and barely one of them smashing at least one of them. Exactly. It's like. Our talking is legit that talking. You might get a hug. You might. Well, for me. You might get a hug. You might get a kiss. That's as far as you gonna get. Exactly. Like, so, so when you say. I know you talking to other niggas. You need to understand what that might entail. I literally might just be talking. Hey, how you doing? And I'm doing good. And get the fuck up out the phone. It's a conversation. I don't see the problem. Yeah, it's it's just a conversation. But with me and you, I'm actually saying when we gonna see each other. When we gonna, you know what I'm saying? We building this connection. What the fuck for? If you never gonna come here and see me, like, bye, nigga. What's up, you cool kittens and cats? I think that's one. <laughs> I think that's what I'm about to start calling y'all. You cool kittens and cats. What's up, y'all? Okay, I just I just made me some breakfast, and me and Jessica was on the phone talking about these motherfucking niggas. Um, nice girl talk. It's so crazy how many women are going through dating woes, relationship woes, marital woes, like, okay. Sir and sirs, can y'all get it together? Please. Motherfuckers just wanna be happy, that's it. That's all, like, can y'all just get it together? Can y'all just be monogamous, one woman, empathetic, good spiritual vibes and energy communicators it's a list i get it you want to see it should i pin it to the i pin it to the uh to the video can y'all just get it together because i mean it's so easy to make a woman happy it is so easy to keep a woman happy like it it, it don't even take that much like can't y'all just get it right <laughs> Anyway, I actually just woke up Alana not too long ago, but I'm glad she woke me up because I needed to eat. I needed to make myself breakfast, but I'm sore and I'm going to the gym later with Jasmine. And plus I got to get these nails soaked off because I have a nail appointment tomorrow. So y'all remind me to go to the nail shop and get my nails soaked off because 
I don't want to be rushing and do it before my appointment in the morning. And I mean, it don't take them long. Like if I go to this one place, um, the I think it's called the nail bar or nailed or something like that. They do a really good job at taking my nails off and they don't like foul down a lot. So maybe I'll go there. I'm definitely not going to Fab Nail Bar where I get my pedicures. I'm not going there to get my feet soaked off. I'm actually about to start trying different nail salons in this um this area that I live in. I love nail Fab Nail Bar specifically because they close at midnight here. So like if I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff throughout the day, I know that I can walk in at 10 o'clock at night and still get a pedicure in my nail. Well, a pedicure because I don't let anybody do my nails, but my nail tech. But I know that I can get a pedicure at 10 o'clock at night. That's why I like going to Fab Nail Bar. But I have noticed that they rush your pedicures. Like, your pedicure be done in like 30 minutes. My nail polish is already chipping on my big toe, so while i'm getting my nail soaked off i think i'm gonna have them um um do redo my toes and color my toes a different color because i mean i like white toes but it's very noticeable if you got a chip in it so that's all that i have to do today is gym and nails and um i do need to go ahead and start packing because we're going to atlanta for do, 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 all star weekend but i'm not gonna be there for all star weekend i'm actually there just to kick it with alana for my birthday and like meet some of the paypal so if y'all guys if y'all are in atlanta and y'all are interested in meeting me hit me up in the dms we can set up a dinner or something like that i said that i was gonna like make res reservations and set up a dinner but I still battle with social anxiety, so it's probably not wise to like try to set up a dinner and meet too many of y'all at one time because then I will shut down and I won't be myself. Like I will not be how I am on YouTube. Like I will, uh, I will be quiet because I, I really have social anxiety. Like you should see me out in public when I'm out solo. I don't talk to anybody. But all of this personality is real, honey. Okay, this is how I really am with my friends. I'm about to lay back down for a little while though. I don't know. It's, I just, I'm sore and I'm tired. I woke up at like five o'clock this morning and I stayed up to like 10 and then I took a nap. So, and we breaking out again. As you can see, we are breaking out. I don't know. I ended my Curology subscription because I noticed that after I started back using Curology, I started breaking out. So I don't know if this is a good purge or just that prescription just doesn't work for my skin. But the entire time that I was using Curology, my skin was not clearing up. I, I just, I kept break out. So I ended that subscription and I threw away that, um, that bottle. What is this? Is this? Hmm. Let's go check this out. I hate, I hate that. That's one thing I do piss me off. It's like, especially if you're talking to an attractive woman. Like, nigga, you're not the only... The same shit you saw, the same shit that three of the... 30 other niggas saw. Right. Like, when we, were, when we went out that night for my birthday, it was niggas, like, I probably... No cap, probably like 10 to 15 years. Like, that bitch bad. They can't see the same shit I see. Right. They see the same shit your ex saw. Like, yeah, nigga, they gon' Yeah. Right, but you need to make a move, though. I don't yeah. like this. I can't stand lack of effort. Effort over excuses. You in Houston, you right down the street. I said this when we first met on the day nap. I said... Oh, you in Houston? This this might not work. How this gonna work? He said. Oh, he said, and I quote, "I'm just right down the street." All right, you right down the street. Pull up. That ain't even a whole tank of gas. It's no excuses. I'm so sick of the fucking excuses. Effort over excuses. Talking about, but we talk on the phone every day. That's not enough. Actually, that's the mistake that we making. Talking on the phone every day. 
being on the phone all day, every day. You checking in, telling me your whereabouts. My nigga, I like you now. Now I want to meet you. Like, now I really want to meet you. And I told him, I said, this the, is this the problem with a lot of relationships. People don't recognize the red flags in the in the issues in the beginning. I said, whatever you start arguing about in the beginning, that's what you always going to be arguing about. We arguing about you coming to see me, it's always going to be a problem. Because you live three hours away from me. We not in the same city. So it's always going to be an issue with my ex. Our, when we first got together, our first argument was about him disrespecting me. I promise you, I bullshit you not. For four years, that's been my fucking argument and complaint. Him not being respectful towards me. I want respect more than I want love. Like if you if you don't respect me, ain't no way you gonna love me any damn way. So if, if me and you already arguing and we ain't even met and we arguing about you coming to see me, I feel inadequate because I feel like I'm begging somebody to come see me. I ain't never had to do this in my life. So it's bothering me, friend. It really is. It's bothering me. Like, I should have to ask no nigga over and over. So when are you coming? And you can't give me an exact date. Like, what the fuck? Bro, are you married? If you married, just stay there. That's suspicious. <laughs> 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 That's my favorite shit. That's suspicious. I be saying that shit when they got shit to do with another. <laughs> That's suspicious. That's suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? How can I help you? Um, nail take off and the ear candles. What what is that exactly? So we do the uh the ear wax and like we put into your ear mm -hmm. and we fire in the other like the other hand and just it put the wax from your ear come out. You pull the wax out of your ear. Mm -hmm. It work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much is it? Uh, thirty five. Thirty five. Mm -hmm. I've never had that done before. Yeah, I want to try it. Okay, sure. So now Neil, uh, take off. Take off your nail. Okay, yeah. sure. You want a pedicure too? No, I just had one. Okay, sure. This red starting to wear on me. Alana want me to get her this wig. I don't know if she's gonna really like it when she see it, but I'ma let her have it if she wanted it, y'all. He said it feels really good. I think it's gonna tickle. He said it feels really good and it helps with allergies. I didn't know ears have ears, your ears and your wax are related to allergies. I'm so yeah. oh my god, this house is siage, whispers of enlightening eyes. Oh my god, this is so fucking good. Lord. I 
gon' sit on my lap Hey, they say I'm cheesy to snap This in between us is not like a score This is an unnoticeable gap Hey, I see some hookers attack And don't end up making it back Hey, top That's disgusting. I'm embarrassed. Oh my god. That was much needed. I feel like I can hear better. Oh my god. Y'all heard it. I y'all heard it. Show word. I can't do nothing. I hear my soulmate praying for me. I'm coming, babe! Hold on, let me put my seatbelt on. I'm coming! <laughs> what Miss Doubtfire say? I'm on the way, dear. I'm on the way. I really feel like I hear better. I hear myself. Oh my God. Am I talking loud? I feel like I hear myself. I hear better, bitch. Like, <laughs> he got. <laughs> Sir done pulled out earwax from when I was born, baby. <laughs> that might have been. I mean, I, I wash my ears. I do. I, I wash my ears. But, uh, I hear better. Find me another one like you. I doubt it. it puts it I don't even got to turn the music all the way up. It, I, I hear it better. You know what I mean? Yeah, she got kids, yeah. but she still a boss. Yeah. Every day hustling, no days off. Ain't taking no shit. She know what she wants. She know what she likes. She know what she don't. Good morning, girls and guys. It's 9.58 a.m. Tuesday morning. We are here getting ready to go inside and get our nails done, our birthday nails done. I have no idea what I'm going to get because the design that I had planned on getting, literally everybody has been getting it. Everybody. My friend Cynthia got it. Jessica got it. Everybody got this design. And I'm like, what? So, I don't know. They like it, huh? Mm-hmm. No lips. No nothing. Oh, that's good. You like that. I like to hold abstract with a hint of a leopard i like them this is the birthday nails that i was planning on doing and i just went ahead and did it i know like it's a trend right now for everybody to have those squiggly lines or whatnot but i decided to go ahead and do it because that's what i originally wanted to do anyway i was like i can't even think of like how else i would get my nails right now because that's what that's how i plan to get my birthday nails so 
it is what it is it is a little different it's not exactly how everybody else has been getting their nails and i'm still rocking this red hair but this is the last day i'm actually getting ready to change my hair i need to do my natural hair too because um like it's poofy like i got a lot of new growth so it's not my wigs aren't laying as flat as i usually like them to um also i want to address something from the last video because i've been noticing a lot of people coming in the same thing and um you know generally i just delete negative comments or judgy comments and move on about my day because at the end of the day it is what it is but a lot of people were commenting that i was driving drunk one girl in particular said she just recently subscribed to my channel but she quickly lost respect for me because i was driving drunk and i put her life and her family's life at risk which was very kind of odd to me because ma'am you don't even live in dallas but that's neither here nor there i do want to apologize for putting that out there because yes i am an influencer and while i do not make videos for kids and i specifically check that when i'm uploading videos that this video is not made for kids i understand that kids can still watch and i do not want to put that message out there that is that it is okay to drive drunk i have alcoholics in my family that have duis and things like that and i do not um condone driving drunk but at the same time i do want to explain that a little bit more because it damn somebody is blowing me up it better be somebody that love me but let me explain those chocolate espresso martinis one were not strong like i said i had six generally i only have two um they were very much watered down and i did not start feeling the alcohol until i got home a lot of people kind of negated the fact that i was super alert the entire the whole entire time that i was driving yeah i might have skipped over and stuttered a couple of times and acknowledged that and stated that i was i had been drinking but i was not drunk like at no point was i drunk when it comes to espresso martinis i actually feel like i have a very high tolerance because had that been like three proseccos i probably wouldn't have been able to drive but like i said they were watered down so i do want to i I, sh I don't feel like i should have to explain myself i'm 38 years old you know i'm grown i i can do what i want but at the same time when you are on a platform you put yourself out there to be scrutinized and judged so if you guys are going to pretend to be god and judge me then you got to forgive me too oh my. The, the lights are not hold on Elon, i'm gonna call you right back okay Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all buy me a couch. Well, how do you know it's a couch? Go it's a picture there. right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you. <sighs> that's why you said, is there anything in my house that's sentimental to me? <laughs> Hell no. Nah, take all this shit. <laughs> Where do you want us to put this at? Cause I don't, I don't. We ain't gonna probably put it up today. Okay. We'll wait till you get back. Okay. What Green. color is it? Gray. Gray. Oh, that's perfect. Where well, you want to store it? I've seen some um, pictures of it too. You could, um, well, I'm feeling good. You know, I, mean, I ain't gonna be looking at the mirror. You can put it right here, up oh, against this, 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 ouch, up against that, uh, that door. Can I scoop this table up a little bit? Yeah. Or? Let's you. Oh, it's one and a half hour. All right. We'll have to put it together. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Push it. Oh, it counts in the Thank you, Rich. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'm gonna keep it real Oh, it's something about you I'm gonna break it down They don't know your style
I was originally going to drive to the airport and park and leave my car here, but mm -mm, mm -mm, no, and we was pushing it, so I was like, no, plus I did not know what gate I was at, so that would have really threw me off because I came to Terminal A and my gate was at Terminal C, so I would have been real mad if I had to park at Terminal A, no. But, yeah, we are on our way to Atlanta. What a week in, what a week, honey. I'm excited. Because the last time I went, it was raining the whole time. So I, I hope it's not raining. But she brought four wigs with her, okay? And this is the Amanda, no, this is not Amanda. And this is the You Nice Hair. I love it. It's a closure wig, it's not a frontal. I'm actually starting to like closure wigs more than frontal wigs now because they just install so easily and you don't even have to gel down the sides or glue down the sides. Like, I love it. So, the only thing that I, that's, you know, gel down is right here. This is looking kind of orange, so maybe I should like put a little concealer there, but I love it. My face was maybe TSA trying to throw away my PCA acne face wash. Uh, first of all, sir, you got me fucked up. First of all, sir, this is a prescription. He was like, the only way I can't throw it away is if it's a, pre it's a prescription. How about this? It's a prescription, yep. Because I can't buy it nowhere in Atlanta, so put it back in the bag. Then dip me underway You can feel my mouth for flow and I will flow Hold me till I scream for every And wash me over until my will runs dry Send all your sins out over me, babe You need it, babe Ladies, we is not gonna be for my partner's <laughs> all star function, honey. Y'all can have it. <laughs> Did you plan on doing something for, uh, for, uh, with all star? I, I, I think I wanted to do was to go to um, two food restaurants. Oh, I need to go to the post office. Okay, I'm for that food. But, um, we can get you. this grand opening, but I was trying to get him to let us into the friends and family so that we didn't have to, um, you know, be there with all the damn, like, everybody and their mama gonna try to be there. Yeah. I don't even know. Honey, they doing so much construction. I need a new phone. SD card. I need to get it, go back this way and get another uh, 132 gig SD card. Uh -huh. Cause 
no rush whenever you have time, but I end up trying to delete the files from my computer mm -hmm. instead of doing it on my camera. Mm -hmm. And girl, I done deleted something that was supposed to be on the SD card, so now it don't even work. Really? So I'm using these little 16 gigabytes. Charlotte ain't number. <laughs> it ain't number 50 minutes. Damn. 50 minutes of recording time. Feet. Turn left, then turn right. Keep right. Then at the roundabout, make a U-turn on Tyler Perry Studios, way southwest. Hey, mm. good. I'm just gonna turn around. My friend is here in town. I was no, just trying to show you. Can't. Right now, he's not allowing visitors to come through the gate. Really? Right okay. Yeah. So what I need to do? Turn around. So, you just back up and go right here. All right. Yeah, because of COVID, he shut it down, guys. I <laughs> I got well, you. Well, we used to let you guys come yeah. out and, uh -huh. and hang out and everything. You've been here since? I've never hung here? out, but I, yeah, I actually worked here on the job. Oh, did you? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Roundabout making you turn. Oh, that's it. 900 feet. So is that where he be getting all them bad axes from? Right here in Atlanta? Right. Most of them, I, I don't know where they be from, but like, you know, he be dealing with big folks too. They not the bad actors. It's the oh, new people. I don't people. know who you talking. I don't know who you talking about. Uh, -huh. uh the uh, on the Oval, the black lady that's married to the president. That. I ain't never watched that. Terrible actor. Really? Terrible. Oh my God, <laughs> be bothering me. Maybe so, child. How do I get back on? Okay. Left on Walnut Avenue oh, Like she didn't be wanting to advise a better than marry a white woman. White man. <laughs> he could have asked me. <laughs> I would have did it, <laughs> and it would have been funny. Do you even watch the Oval? Uh-uh. Child, I think on the first episode, the president was beating the first lady. Slapping the shit out of her. Damn. Terrible acting, though. Oh, my but God. No, you know, because the show, one of my um, one of my customers, this white guy, he's engaged. He and his fiance are both on the show. Right on Main Street. And they both live in California. Right well, I need this shit to shut up. They both um, live in California, but they come here to film the show. You probably know the show. You don't know these this white boy? He on the show. He's he's it's a black girl with him on the show. He's engaged to her. That's the oval. It is. He's the president, yeah. No. Yeah. That's the that's the oval. For real? Mm hmm No. Oh. He not that bad, but the 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 first lady in the oval? Chai. So he's actually engaged to Right on North Avenue. This black girl. Then keep right to Langford Parkway. Mm. You never seen her? Mm -hmm. See, I think he he must be on a different show because I don't think the show that he was down when he was down here filming when he was talking to me, I don't think he said the Oval. It was called something else. He looked like that white man is the president right. in the Oval. Right. He might be, but you know what I'm saying? He might be working on, you know how they be using some of the same. I'm trying to find, I'm going to find the name of that show, whatever he's on. And if it's too late, I understand. Sometimes it's too late to make a man. Oh, my name's Katie. Thank you. You're welcome. Have you guys been uh, dining here before? I have. Yeah. Oh, it's over now. Oh, it's over now. Oh,
house. Well, um, she just dropped me off in my Airbnb. I'm here, it's a loft. So, if you can tell that I'm a little low in spirits right now, it's because I'm not super happy with the Airbnb. And I'll tell y'all about that later once I get back home, child. But let's do a little tour. So, this is. So this is one of the bathrooms. This is just the guest bathroom downstairs. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, it's clean. And then you have this large foyer. I don't know what's in there. It's probably a water heater or something. This is the kitchen. Probably won't be going in there. And I'll tell you guys why when I get back home. A nice half length mirror right here i'm looking cute or whatever i don't got on no makeup i just have on lashes and a little eyeliner that's it and of course i'm wearing my unice here then this is the living room area and then you also have the wet bar area over there so i'm just probably about to take a shower put my pajamas on and watch some tv eat and then go to sleep in a little bit then you got the a really really large balcony with a nice view of the gym which i will be going to in the morning if they let me with a little guest um little guest membership then right there is the movie theater you got old navy and some shops down there and i think that's a restaurant to go eat over there so it's like a lot of places that i can walk to and eat and i don't have to bother anyone to come get me or take ubers then we're gonna go up to the bedroom It's a really, really large bedroom and a really, really big bed. You also have a TV to watch in here. And then this is the bathroom. So you have a stand-up shower. That's like a quarter size of my shower, but we won't complain. And then you have a tub, which is the reason why I got this Airbnb because I definitely want to take some nice baths. Wow. Well, I saw my little breath coming up the steps. Then you have your private toilet and a really, really large walk in closet with um, a large space in the back. And you a nice size mirror in here as well and they leave you some soap and towels and washcloths because everybody don't use washcloths honey oh my god i just realized i forgot my freaking bunny fuck but I'm loving this hair and it's holding this crimp so good. Like I usually I just crimp the top, but I crimped the whole head of this hair and it's holding this crimp so good. But I just fucking realized that I for, I didn't pack my bonnet. Everything I packed, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna show y'all my concoction. Because I'm going to wrap this hair up when I get in the shower with a plastic bag or something like that. I'll show you how to do it. It's, it's black people stuff. Some of you may not know, never know of nothing about. And then you can just loft over the bedroom balcony and see the living room area and whatnot, whatnot. Um, I'm not super happy with the Airbnb though because of one particular thing, but we will discuss when I get back. 
because we're going to be positive and we're going to make the best of it because it is what it is. But all I have to say is I can't wait till I get home in reference to staying in this house. I could have stayed with Alana, but I do not like imposing on anyone's privacy in their home. I like my own privacy. A lot of times I don't like to sleep um, in my pajamas. I like to sleep in the nude chair. So sleeping on somebody's couch, just it's not going to work for me. I need a bed. I be all over the bed and I got a bad back. I try not to sleep on my sides because I try not to sleep on my hips. Because you know when you get fat transfer to the hips, those be the first thing to go. So I'm trying to prolong my hips, child, because the curves will go away if you are a side sleeper. I don't know if anybody know that, but yeah, sometimes the fat doesn't always survive even years later. Like you have to be really careful sleeping on your sides. But yeah, um, me and Alana went to Taco Mac earlier and got some nachos. So I'm just about to, maybe I don't even want to go in that kitchen. I don't even want to go in that kitchen. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't even want to go in that kitchen, but. I gotta heat up the I gotta heat up the salsa that we that we get for the nachos, but I don't wanna go in the kitchen like I'm traumatized. That's why I keep patting my head. My head is not itching, my flesh is crawling. That's what it is. Anyway, um so update I can't do it I gotta go I got to go this apartment is too nice and looks way too expensive a month in rent for it to have roaches yes bitch I said roaches all in the kitchen one row I opened the cabinet the roach took a picture because I was getting ready to take a picture the roach pose bitch it got I ain't lying I'm not lying at first, it was just sitting like this, and as soon as I broke out the camera, it did it did, it did like this. I ain't lying, for real. It took a, it posed. Baby, this is that Roach house. I can't stay here. He might try to come up here and get me in my sleep. Uh-uh, I gotta be comfortable where I sleep. I gotta be comfortable where I eat. And I don't forget my bunny. I can't have no roaches in my motherfucking weed. Nah, I got to go. I got to go and I want all my money back. The host seemed nice. He said that he'll refund me the, the full refund. So, let's see if he keep his word. I'm trying to find a room because it don't look like I'm gonna find no Airbnbs. And as a matter of fact, to be quite honest, I don't even want an Airbnb after this. I don't even want, uh -uh. I'm traumatized. Like, bitch, I ain't seen a roach since I was a little girl. That's why I can't stop scratching. Like, then I sat down in the, um, in the living room and I was trying to eat my food. It's like, my stomach turned. And don't get me wrong, all black people know about roaches, okay? But I ain't seen a roach since I was a little girl. I don't live my life like this. So I shouldn't have to, um, I, I shouldn't be okay with this. Like this motherfucking Airbnb is almost $700 for three days. Excuse me. Excuse me. And I can't. And I'm scared to go in the kitchen. I don't even want to put my food in the refrigerator. No. I made you to give me my motherfucking money back. 
I got to go. Now the dilemma is, who the hell gonna come pick me up? It's 10 p.m. I mean, I can call an Uber, but shit, I don't know where the fuck to go. I, I don't know what area that I want to be in. I, I know nothing about Atlanta. Like, this is just... Oh, this is so disturbing. Like, this, this place is too nice to have roaches. Like, what? And they ain't leaving. It's like I was, y'all, y'all don't understand. I was so excited about this spot. Like, it just looks so plush and just. And this is, and he, this person is a super host. He has almost five stars on Airbnb. How the fuck you almost got five stars and you got roaches? And yes, I said roaches, plural. There was one dead on the floor, one crawling on the cabinet that I tried to kill, but he was a super roach. So somehow he jumped up out the napkin and ran. Then, so I was like, okay, maybe it was just them two, you know? I opened the cabinet. There was one. I guess he froze because he didn't know what to do. So he was like, maybe she don't see me. So when I pull out the camera, this nigga went from froze to pose. Like, I got to go. I got to go. It ain't nothing else to say. It ain't nothing else to do but leave. Who the hell gonna come pick me up? I don't like this. I don't like feeling like, I don't like feeling helpless. You know what I mean? Then I brought all this shit. Then I brought all this fucking shit with me. Cause I'm damn near here for a whole fucking week. Don't nobody want to be chugger lugging this fucking, these, this damn low luggage all over the damn place. And I definitely don't want to unpack and want to slide up in here and try to come home with me. That's the last thing I need. No, you know, you know I, I, I joke around when I, when I buy myself things and I say I'm bougie and I'm rich. I hate that motherfucking bougie. If it had just been one and I could have killed it, I probably would have stayed. But that one that was in the cabinet that turned around and posed, oh, baby, that one said, bitch, you got to go. This is my house. And I'm going to pack my shit up and leave, okay? But you say no more. I get it. This don't make no goddamn sense. You ain't got a nerd to charge a hundred and something dollars clean and damn feet. What the hell y'all clean? Y'all might be in the kitchen. Got to the Airbnb about an hour and a half ago. Why this motherfucker got roaches? Mm, you lying? No, I tried to keep. I tried to kill one, and the motherfucker jumped up out the mat napkin. It was a super roach. Then so I'm like, then so I'm like, all right, maybe it was just one. I started going through the cabinets. It's one sitting in right there in the front, chilling by the food that's in the cabinet. It was froze, right? So I thought it was dead. So I pulled out my camera to take a picture of it. Why the motherfucker pose? <laughs> I ain't lying. He turned around and put his ass to the camera and posed. Did anybody else see it? Yes, Alana saw it. Our, oh both, both our flesh in here just crawling. Can y'all go back to the... Oh, oh y'all can't tell me? I just told him, he said, once I check out, I need to cancel the reservation and he'll approve it for a full refund. But I'm trying to figure out, but but Alana done already went home. I already told Jessica that I was going to stay, but 
I sat down and started trying to eat my food and I couldn't even eat because it's like, it's people in here with me. I ain't by myself. Right. Oh, so you can't you can't really do it. like. So what are you gonna do? Well, I ain't saying it's people, but you know I ain't, I, I got company. Like I I don't feel at home away from home because it's like I ain't got roaches in my house. So exactly. And this motherfucker is seven hundred some dollars for three days. Like you gotta get your motherfucking money back. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Then have the nerve to be charging a hundred and something dollars for a cleaning fee. What the fuck is y'all cleaning? Cause y'all ain't cleaning the kitchen. I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And sir is a super host. Damn near got five stars reviews. Like, how y'all miss this? Did y'all paying attention to that shit then? <sighs> Listen, as soon as I walked in the door, as soon as I walked in the kitchen, my peripheral vision, cause you know I'm 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 superwoman. I saw some crawling. Even in the dark, I saw it crawling. I, I said, bitch, this a roach. She said, you lying. I said, this a roach. I'm not lying. So when I turned the light on, the motherfucker stopped like it was for the camouflage with the brown uh, cabinets. <laughs> so I said, give me your phone real quick because my phone dead. I said, give me your phone real quick so I can take a picture. It didn't move. Hell no. So I sent him the screenshots. He said, oh no, those look young too. I'm gonna have to call an exterminator. Sir, when was the last time you been to your Airbnb? Did nobody know that you already knew the shit was in there? Oh, did he know or did he not know? I don't know. I don't know if he knew or he not knew. Who cleaned the Airbnb? He can't be the person cleaning it. And whoever cleaning it, they ain't cleaning it. They just taking his money. That's a goddamn thing. I'm so disgusted. I ain't seen a roach since I was a little girl. And that hoe was nice. Super nice. Like I I I so felt like I was gonna have No, I'm gonna give me a room, but I don't know where the fuck to get the room at because I don't know shit about Atlanta. Hell and I got so many bags, like, I'm, I'm gonna be here for a week. You're not even gonna be there for, like, I mean, you're gonna be there for a little bit, and then you still leave. Right. To your other location, right? No, I'm coming back. I'm coming back to, like, repack and, and do that. But it's still, like, I got a lot of bags because I'm gonna be here so long, and we going to dinner and doing stuff. And I, it's a gym, a LA Fitness here, right across the street from this place. So I bought, like, workout clothes and all that stuff so I can keep on working out. I just got a whole bunch of shit. I brought my computer so I could edit while I'm here and still post my videos yeah. and work. Like I got so much stuff to chug a look and oh, it's just like, left because of the whole, like situation. No, what? she left because she was she I told her that I was gonna go ahead and stay. I, I mean I didn't wanna impose. I don't I don't wanna stay with anybody here. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's yeah. not like I just I don't I don't wanna impose on anybody. Like I I appreciate people opening their home up to me and saying I can sleep on their couch, but it's like... you like, nah. I don't want to sleep on nobody's couch. I want to be in a bed. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call you right back, okay? All right. All right.